Hi, I'm Roger from Becker Orthopedic. I wanted to show you our line of adjustable flexion knee joints. Each of these joints have a serration that you're capable of changing in six degree increments. Also, each of the joints come with different functions. On our model 1006, it is a ring lock with an adjustable flexion. Model 1007 is a bail lock with an adjustable flexion. Model 1010 has a range of motion plate, adjustable flexion, along with the ring lock at full extension. The Model 1013 is a posterior offset, adjustable flexion knee joint with a bail that can be removed if necessary. It also has an automatic locking band for it. I want to show you a couple of different features. I think what we'll do is we're going to start by adjusting and show you the serration. So it has an aluminum plate 1032 screw and you can see that there's many different increments that you can set the knee joint in, whether it be flexion. We'll say in. So we'll set it in flexion to show it in flexion. You can also set this in hyperextension. It's as easy as changing that to your patient, putting the lid and the 1032 screw back in. So this is a drop lock. Um, it's gravity. The 1007 operates in the same fashion, but this is an automatic lever lock. When the joint reaches full extension, it locks. As you change the flexion, you're changing the full range of motion on that. It'll still lock at full extension. The range of motion has several increments here. You can change for hyperextension or knee flexion and a ring lock. The 1013 is posterior offset. It's the newest of the line. It's a bail. And it also has this urethane band and the urethane band for locking in full extension. There was one more thing that I wanted to show you. Some folks are calling me and asking me, how do we install the rod? Each of these joints comes with quarter inch stainless steel rod that can be inserted and contoured around the popliteal area. Um, when, we, when we put it together here, we silver solder inside of here, but one of the features for people who are not capable of welding, it has a small dimple in the bottom of the bell. If you contour your bell, drill through that dimple and through the rod, it comes with a pair of pins that'll insert to hold the rod in. So again, this is our model 1006, 1007, 1010, and 1013. If you have any more questions, you can visit our website.